Hello everybody, welcome to this next video. Here we will discuss about example of vector subspaces. So uh, the first example, simplest example is suppose you have V2, uh, V is your R2, R2 is a space which is defined as x, y such that x and y are real. So this is basically your uh, 2D plane uh, is a vector space over the field R. We have already done it, but let me write down the operations are defined as x1, y1 plus x2, y2. This is the component y addition x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2. And then you have this uh, scalar multiplication alpha x, comma y is defined as component y scalar multiplication. So under these two operations, you can verify that all the 10 properties are satisfied. So this is a vector space. So we we uh, we can actually uh, mm, geometry also we can look at the geometry of the vector space also. So you have any two points say x one y one x two y two right. So these are actually you can see like vectors. Then you have this addition defined like this. There are so many things right. So addition is actually the same uh, which we have in uh, which you have already uh, learned in vector spaces in vectors actually. You have this parallelogram law of addition of vectors so like that we have okay and that is uh, we'll, we are not going to discuss that here so you have this uh, v and suppose i am looking for a subspace of this v this is your whole v which is equal to r2 now i claim that if i just draw one line straight line passing through a region any line there are so many lines passing through a region so i claim any line passing through a region is a vector subspace right so there are so many lines this 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 and so many infinite number of lines and i'm not saying that these are the all vector space subspaces of r2 there may be more so let us uh, prove it now you see any line passing through a region if I want to write down all the points which are passing through, which are on the line and passing through a region, so how can I write? If you take just any vector on this line, say call it, um, I don't know, you just call it as a x1, y1 vector. So this is actually 1, 1 or this can be any vector, right? So you fix a vector x1, y1, then the equation of the line passing through a region and that point x1 y1 and that point x1 y1 is given by some constant alpha into x1 y1 where alpha is in r you see because you see every point on this line will be a multiple of this x1 y1 if you have a vector on the line, every other point on the line will be a multiple of this x1, y1. Or similarly, if you want to go here also, the, your scalar will be negative quantity. Right. So this is the line which we are claiming is a vector subspace. So, so can, can we prove it that this is a vector subspace? Let us call it as L. Right. So yeah, we can prove it. Uh, how to prove uh, we, I told you that you need to prove the four properties so the first property is closer with respect to addition so you will choose two points in L choose two elements in L two elements in L now the two elements will look like this this is fixed right so this will change to change the element so you call the first element as u this is say alpha x1 y1 Second element you call it as v. This will be some another constant into x1, y1. Now if you add u plus v, by definition, it will be alpha x1, y1 plus beta x1, y1. This is by definition alpha x1, alpha y1 plus beta x1, beta y1. So this is by definition alpha x1 plus beta x1, comma alpha y1 plus beta y1. So this is your alpha plus beta x1 comma alpha plus beta y1 
and you can now take alpha plus beta outside you have x1 comma y1 now you see this element also belongs to l because this is of the form a constant into x1 comma y1 so this belongs to l it means that you take any two elements u and v from l their sum is going to be in l so it means that this first property is true now let us look at the second property so second property is closer with respect to scalar multiplication closer with respect to scalar multiplication so you choose a uh, element uh, element in your space uh, your subset l u is in l so u will look like some constant into x1 y1 now you choose any scalar in your f so you want to prove beta u is in l beta u is alpha x1 y1 this is beta alpha x1 y1 so this again is of the form a scalar because beta into alpha will be in field x1 y1 so this belongs to l therefore closer property with respect to multiplication is also there now let us look at the third property that zero element should be there now we know that zero zero vector is this in r2 plane so this can obviously be written as zero into x1 y1 so this is of the form a scalar into x1 y1 therefore it belongs to l zero element is also there now for each for each u in l u will look like alpha into x1 y1 and minus alpha belongs to f because we know that for every alpha in f there is a, a minus alpha in f so we have minus alpha x1 y1 this is also in l because this is a form this is of the form a scalar into x1 y1 so this will work as minus u because if you add this alpha x1 y1 with minus alpha x1 y1 you are going to get a zero zero vector and this is a this is an element of l so it means that for every u in the uh, l there is minus u in l such that u plus minus u is zero zero so the additive inverse is also present in l so we can conclude that this l is a vector subspace of r2 vector subspace of r2 thank you